This is part 56 of Blazor tutorial. In our previous video, we discussed authorize view component. This component is used to authorize the display of specific parts within a page, including child components. We use authorize attribute to protect routable components, that is components with at page directive. We reach these components via the router and authorization is performed while being routed to these components. So this means authorize attribute cannot be used to protect parts of a page or child components. For that, we use authorize view component and for routable components, that is components with at page directive, we use authorize attribute. At the moment, we are not logged in, but I can still see the list of all employees. This is employee list component. Similarly, when I click the view button, we can access employee details component. And when we click edit button, we can also access edit employee component. All these are routable components, that is components with at page directive. At the moment, we are looking at the employee list component and we can reach this component by navigating to the root application URL. Now, what we want to do is protect these components. And for that, let's use the authorize attribute. So we first use at attribute and then the name of the attribute. In our case, we want to use the authorize attribute. Let's save our changes and take a look at the browser. Notice, even with the authorize attribute in place, I can still access the employee list component as before. This is because for the authorization to work as expected, along with this authorize attribute, we must also use authorize route view component instead of the plain route view component. The route view component is used in this file app.razor. So let's open this. Replace route view component with authorize route view component. Notice now we are not authorized to access employee list component. To be able to access it, we must log in. In a similar way, we can protect our other routable components like employee details, employee edit, etc. If we are not authorized to access a component by default, this is the text that is displayed, not authorized. However, we can customize this text as well. Again, we do that in app.razor file. So first we expand this authorize route view component. And then inside this component, we use not authorized component. And inside this component, we can include any text that we want to display for users that are not authorized. Let's save our changes and take a look at the browser. There we go. We now see our custom content. To be able to access this employee list component, we must first log in. There we go. We are now authorized to access the component. As soon as we log out, we are again not authorized. At the moment, we are using the authorize attribute in its simplest form without any parameters, that is roles or policy. So it only checks if the user is authenticated. If the user is authenticated, then authorization is granted, otherwise not. Just like authorize view component, the authorize attribute also supports role-based and policy-based authorization. For role-based authorization, use the roles parameter and for policy-based authorization, use the policy parameter. We'll discuss these in detail in our upcoming videos. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two.